Framer recently launched the most awaited update of the year, Framer Plugins. And I am here to share with you my most favorite Framer Plugins that I am definitely going to use. Framer Plugins is available on Framer's Marketplace along with the templates that you can see here on the screen. We have a bunch of paid and free plugins. And the ones that I'm going to show here are the free versions, of course. Again, if you want to go ahead and try out the paid version, then if you have tried it, do let me know in the comments. I am here telling you about the free plugins that I am definitely going to use in my projects. Starting with the first one here is the Rife plugin. Now, to be able to use this, all I have to do is click on this button right here and I can select the name of the file where I want to open this. I'm opening it in the Framework plugins file that I already made. And let's just close it here. Another way to access the plugins is to go here on your framework file and you can browse plugins, type for the plugin or you just select from the recents in my case or the featured plugins. So clicking on this will also enable the plugin. Now in order to use the Rife plugin, we have to go to the Rife website, which is rife.app. And trust me, I cannot lay enough emphasis on how crazy the animations in here are. You can just scroll through this. I am going to go to the community page right here on top um, and go to files. In here, you will find a bunch of crazy animations by designers all over the world who have contributed to the Rive community. And this is the same animation that you saw on Framer's website. You see how it's the eye is reacting to the cursor movement. This is how beautiful the animations are. I'm going to show you some of my favorites here as well. So scrolling through the page, I came across this amazing work by Augustine Hebel. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name right, but this is uh, the work for Teenage Engineering uh, Audio Sampler. And when you click on these buttons, it makes it so realistic with these sound effects and the fact that you can directly use these on your Framo websites by using the Rife plugin is just a dream come true. Look at this another amazing artwork where when you click on the, uh, you know, little items, it makes a sound, it changes the shape, the form, and then, you know, it adds a bit of surprise. And imagine if you can just use this on your website as it is. So to do that, let's just click on the remix link. I've already remixed it, so I'm just clicking on remix again. And in here, you can update a few things like the colors. So I'm just double clicking on the couch and that will enable me to change the selected colors. Let's just make it in a theme of purplish, pinkish. And yeah, this will give it like a new uh, look to the entire illustration that you have. But let's just go back. I don't want to change the other thing as well here. I just want to use it as it is to show you how we can directly use it on our website. So just export the Rive uh, project and go back to your framework file. So in here, let's go to plugins. I'm going to go to Rive plugin now. Once you have opened the plugin, you can browse through the files on your desktop. And here in plan see how it looks so yeah the sound is as it is the illustration looks great and imagine how much interest it will add to your website when you use things like this a big shout out to the amazing artists who have contributed to the rive community who have made our work almost zero effort and do check out rive.app on your own if you feel you have it in you to create your own animated illustrations as well the next plugin that we're talking about here is the Blocks plugin. Now, what this plugin does basically is it makes website designing 
really easy for people who are starting out or for people who want to just, you know, whip out something really quickly. Because in here, you will find pre-made components and that too, not just in one option, but multiple options. And by using this, you can create a high fidelity wireframe for your website in probably less than 30 minutes because you're getting almost all your building blocks for your website in not just one or two options, but multiple options. For example, cards, navbar, and they also have blueprints for SaaS agencies and portfolios. So you get all the pages here from the home about to contact and you can just insert the blueprint as it is for your website. Now in here you have gotten everything that creates the basic structure of a homepage of a SaaS website. And this is, you can always edit this further to design it and to give it your own look and feel. But this of course, like I said, builds you a very nice wireframe and you can add more sections or edit the existing ones. Now, if you see, there is a hover stage to this as well when I'm playing it. And let's just go down further. Nothing happens when I click it because I have to link it to a certain page where I want to. And, uh, or, you know, build on that particular section. These accordions are also, you know, working pretty fine. So everything is done. You just have to enter the content and just revise the colors as you like. Let's see if this is responsive as well. Uh, I've created a tablet version here. And yes, it is responsive, which is great again. You might have to change certain things as per your liking. But yeah, this works pretty fine for the tablet version. Now let's just check out the phone version as well because the tablet version looks pretty fine to me. So clicking on this add icon again and for the phone version, uh, it is responsive I'd say but yeah, you have to adjust a few things like the font size because this is not how we want this and also we'll have to probably change the stack structure, the direction. I'm just going to change the font size first and even for the body, let's just make it 12 pixels instead of 16. And I'm going to select this stack right here and change the direction from horizontal to vertical. So yeah, this looks much better and the editing was also pretty fast. So you can do this very easily if you have basic knowledge of creating responsive websites and you know using the stacks and everything. So yeah, makes your workflow pretty fast. And basically from this, you can always build up. Let's just go to the next plugin that we have here. One of my favorites is the Frame of Arms. Now this is also a paid uh, plugin, but you also get a lot of free options in here. I'm going to explore the free ones in this. For example, there's an option to create a single page in a multi-step form, but the multi-step form is paid, but we do have an alternative to create multi-step forms on Framer in our Frame of Arms tutorial that you can check out if you want to do it for free. The single page form now in here you'll have to sign up so i'm just entering all my details and signing up once in let's go to the single page form and in here you will find a variety of inputs now how this is different from the frame of forms itself is that it provides slightly more options in the free version as well like this slide out which is there which you can add to your form you can also add the radio buttons image select uh, some of these are already in the frame of forms that you'll get, but like the image select one is not there. So yeah, you find a little more options here. And of course, in the paid version, you also get the option for file upload and of course the multi-page select. So net pro uh, promoter score is also there in the paid version. So all of these things are there that you can always uh, look at. So I'm also adding the star rating thingy. And once done, let's just go back and you can also add logic, conditional logic and pre-fill form inputs in the pro version. So definitely check this plugin out if you want to invest a lot uh, on forms for your website. So this dev plugin is definitely come in, uh, going to come in handy. And I have the form ready here. So let's just uh, close this and place the form right inside the screen here. And of course, you get the options to style the form further by going to this section right here we can change the focus state and everything but i'm going to let that be as it is and let's just play it and try and enter our details right here so you see how the focus state is working and 
yeah, you can select the locations and all of these things. I am just going to add all these random things that I added to my form. And you can just select the image. You can add a number. So you can do all of these things. So this is a great form creator, form builder. And once you submit, you can always create a submit page and link that to uh, it. So yeah, that was the amazing Framer Forms plugin that you should definitely uh, try out. The next plugin that I'm going to talk about is the Lumi plugin. And the Lumi plugin is one of my favorites because it gives you high quality images and not just photos, but also illustrations 3D. You can just type in uh, whatever sort of image that you're looking for. You can also look up for illustrations, 2D illustrations, different styles of illustrations. This also serves as an inspiration for illustrations that you want to create. So this is great. Like for pizza, I'm getting multiple options. I'm also getting burgers, tacos, all of that. And yeah, you can just uh, insert it by just clicking on the image right there. So this is a great option to just quickly add illustrations to your website. And like I said, it always uh, acts as an inspiration because it has a bunch of different styles of illustrations, both 2D, 3D that you can explore. So yeah, definitely give this plugin a shot as well. Moving on, the next plugin that we're going to discuss is the Doodles plugin. Now why this plugin is amazing is because you can create any sort of random graphic and add it to your website as an image. You're not limited by the paid doodle libraries that you are getting online, but you can create your own version of amazing doodles and add it to your website to give it that fun and sketchy style. Next up, we have the ASCII plugin, A-S-C-I-I. And in here, you get an option to add your images in a very fun and unique style by adding characters that build that image up. For example, I'm typing in RYZ here. So these uh, characters are being used to build that framer logo. I can always change the font, the size, the brightness, all of these things. And we can also just add it to our website very quickly by just clicking on insert and you see how it has uh, used the RYZ characters to build that image up. You can also change the background color, brightness and everything, uh, resolution. So yeah, also you can change the image that you want the characters to be visible in. For example, I uploaded the star here and I can just type in two. So the entire star is built off the character two now, which is visible here. We can always update the colors, so we can just update the colors here quickly. And yeah, that's how quickly it is updated and you can just insert it. So yeah, this is just a way to add that funky style to present your images in a different, uh, unique way. The next plugin is somewhat similar, but again, very different. It's also used to make your images appear differently. You can select from different modes here. The plugin is called Ditto. And you can select the kind of pixelation you want to have, the brightness, the colors, and all of that. And just insert the image right here. So I had the star image uploaded, so it's using the same image here. And this is how I have presented it in a very, you know, quirky style. So depending on how you want to use these images on your website, you can use it. Let's just close this now. Moving on, we have the Phosphor plugin, which gives you a huge library of icons, which is not just available in one or two options, but multiple. Like I'm typing an email here and you'll see I've gotten so many email related icons and you can always make it bold, regular, thin, fill, or do a tone, which is super cool. And to insert, just click on it. Let's zoom in here slightly. And I'm going to make it slightly bigger so that it's a little more visible. And now let's just update the colors by clicking on the icon, selecting the icon and updating the colors right here. So I'm just updating the color from the grayish tone to the bluish tone and just select the strokes and update the color as you like. So yeah, this is great. There's another amazing plugin for icons and that's called Icon Stack. So I'm going to go to plugins again 
and select icon stacks from here. Now here you already get an option to select the color style that you want to have. So I'm again going for a shade of blue and you can always select the size also. I'm going to let that be 16 and just add any icon. You can choose whether you want to have an outline or a filled icon and just add the icon. You can copy the SVG or insert the icon to your desktop directly and that's it. You have the icon already. I love both these plugins and of course these are going to come in super handy. So yeah, the next plugin that I'm going to talk about is the Tidy Up plugin. Now I'm the kind of designer who gets really messy with their work and puts frames all around their artboard. So yeah, let's just randomly place frames here and show you how magically this plugin arranges all my frames. So all you have to do is just go to tidy up and select the kind of layout you want, horizontal in this case, and it'll tidy up and put them all in a single, in a single line. So this is great to organize stuff around. The next amazing plugin is the Unsplash. Now Unsplash was already available as a fill option earlier, but now you can directly open the plugin and place the images around the creative frame, go to fill and add the image. Again, Lottie files is something which all designers love because they provide amazing animated illustrations. So they have a lot of free illustrations as well. And inside of Framer only, you can update the color palettes and just insert the illustration, the animated illustration very easily to your website. So yeah, there are some other amazing plugins too, and I would want you to explore them on your own. Some of them are CMS related, like CMS export, uh, Notion and Google Sheets, which we're going to discuss more when we do a tutorial on CMS specifically. I'm not covering those plugins in this particular uh, video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. Do subscribe to the channel if you find our content helpful. It really motivates us a lot. Thank you again and I'll see you next week.